can hear you with Thrifty Apprentice. Happy Sunday, everyone. And we have a crafty corner video today. If you had the opportunity to view this past Friday's video, you saw me create this illustration of a rose using some watercolor pencils. And I did say in that video, I was gonna be creating a journal with this illustration as the focal point for the front cover um on today so that's what we're going to do now i'll be honest i've given this a little thought not a lot just a little uh so we're really going to be creating this together from scratch but i am going to be um doing my best to make sure the construction is very strong very solid and stable so that um i can list it now i think i have everything i need so this video is kind of going to be, you know, broken up into different segments because I'm literally going, this is the only thing that I really have complete. <laughs> so it's going to jumpstart off from the beginning. Let's get into it. I need to create the base first. So for the base, I have pulled two 9 by 12 uh, empty mixed media pads. They used to have mixed media paper and I've used them up. Um, more than likely use them to make sketchbooks and i did say that this was a journal but this is actually going to turn out to be a sketchbook because i will be binding this with 100 percent cotton watercolor paper by new york central now i typically don't um make my sketchbooks like medium specific uh, i normally bind them with mixed media paper so that you can um pretty much use any medium in them um, but this one is going to specifically be for watercolor water soluble products so i'm going to be binding it with 100 percent cotton watercolor paper all right so i think what i'm going to do is just cut one of these completely in half for my front and back and then i'm going to cut a spine um, maybe about half an inch half an inch spine uh, because I'm only going to put one signature. Uh, no, actually, I'm going to make the spine about an inch. I'm going to put two signatures in it, in this journal. So, let's get started.
So here is the base. And of course you guys can see we have a full book here. So here is where we're starting. And the next thing I'm going to do is cover the base. So I have some fabric here. This is black denim with gold specks in it. It's really pretty. I think I used this on the art advent calendar, if I'm not mistaken. But I wanted to use it for this book as well. So what I'm going to do is cut out fabric, leaving a, oh, half inch seam or border, half inch border. I'm thinking sewing terms, I was about to say seam allowance, um, on each side and attach it to the cover, wrap it around to the inside. So let's do that. So here we are with a covered base. A couple of things I want to note. Um, the first one is 
I used a, this is actually a, almost a denim like fabric, a, a lightweight denim to cover the journal base with. If you're using a lighter weight fabric, it's my suggestion um, that you make the glue layers really thin. I didn't have to worry about that because I knew the glue wasn't going to seep through this fabric because um, I've used it before. But some fabrics, especially on the weight, depending on the weight, excuse me, um, the glue will have the tendency to seep through if you get it in too thick of globs or layers. So I do suggest that you know, you do spread it out into thinner layers, especially if you're using like a uh, PVA glue, a water-based glue, like your white glues, any white glues, any water-based glue. Um, even if you're using like, here is Aileen's Original Clear Gel Tacky Glue. It's a really good adhesive, but it is water-based. So, um, you know, they do have the tendency to warp and the um, heater is kicking on guys. So please forgive the noise in the background. Um, so if you were using those, I would definitely give this a lot more time to dry, press it under something heavy uh, for at least, for me at least overnight. Uh, just to make sure that everything adheres down. And you saw me work really hard on the corners. I want to make sure that the corners are as flat as possible for when we cover the inside of the journal. Now, second note, I used packaging tape in order to um, bind my base together. You can use different types of tape. It doesn't have to be packaging tape. Um, just make sure that whatever it is, is gonna withstand being opened and closed on a regular basis. So now we've gotten up to this point, we want to start to actually cover the inside and do the cover for the journal. So let's do the inside and then we'll do the cover. I'm gonna be starting with um, you guys know I'm trying to use up pattern paper if you've been watching my crafting videos I'm really trying to get it used up. This is the once upon a time premium paper stack by DCWV. This is a 12 by 12 um, Pattern paper pack create your own fairy tale is what they say now, It's actually some really nice paper truth be told this brand is carried at my local Joann's um, when I originally started crafting a couple years back, I bought stacks and stacks of paper, not really knowing what I was going to need. I wish I knew then what I knew I know now, and I would not have bought so much. Nonetheless, I have to get it used up. There's no sense of it sitting around unused, um, being precious. So I want to cover the inside with this pattern paper. And then the leftover scraps are gonna make the base for the front cover. And this will be the focal pattern paper for the front cover. And then we'll be cutting, I think, no, yeah, I'm thinking it's through. We'll be cutting a square or out of the front pattern paper in order to inlay the rows into the pattern paper um, and then decorate the rest of the cover from there. So let's get all of that done and we will see how we have progressed.
Here we are, friends. We made it through all of that. Can you guys believe it? Man, that was some work, was it not? Was it not? Now, um, I think what I'm going to do at this particular point, guys, is go ahead and cut the video here. And then we're going to pick up next Sunday for part two of constructing this journal. But as you can see, the inside is ready to go. And the cover is ready to go on the front. I'm not going to attach it just yet because it does have some raised areas on it. And there's some stuff that I want to add to the inside front panel. Um, now, on the next video, we are going to, I'm going to be putting a um, waterfall journal on the front right. Uh, well, it's actually the left. This is my left. Okay. So, on the front cover, inside front cover, is going to go a waterfall journal. Here, we're going to put um, a big pocket for storing reference photos and notes and things of that nature. And we're going to be creating our signatures and binding them in from 100% cotton watercolor paper. So those are the things, we're, oh, we're going to put on the closure and add the backing panel to cover the closure on the back. So all of that is going to be done in the second video. Hopefully um, you guys enjoyed this one. You followed along, you saw some things, it gave you some ideas. Um, uh, you picked up on some tips, tricks, techniques, whatever have you. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it, guys. Share the video. Maybe someone else would love to follow along with making this um, journal or getting ideas to make their own journal. Jump in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Are you guys crafting along? Are you pulling ideas to make your own sketchbook? Um, please let me know. If you're new to the channel or you're returning and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscription button, then that notification bell so you won't miss next Sunday's video to finish up doing this uh, water soluble sketchbook. You can check the video description for all of the relevant links. And remember, as I tell you guys at the end of every single video, just keep painting and crafting.